Welcome. Let's look at the coastal cartilage. The coastal cartilages are seen in the anterior part of the ribs. These are the coastal cartilages highlighted in blue. If you look at the pattern by which the coastal cartilages run, you see that from the first to the seventh coastal cartilages, they have direct connection with the sternum. While from the eighth, ninth, and the tenth coastal cartilage, they have indirect connection with the sternum. This is to say that from the first to the seventh, the coastal cartilages are connected directly to the lateral wall of the sternum. White coastal cartilages from the 8th, 9th, and the 10th ribs are connected to the superior coastal cartilages. And if you look at the pattern from the superior part, you see that they are directly connected to it. The coastal cartilages form part of the thoracic cage. If you look at the structural component of the thoracic cage, you see that the thoracic cage is made up of the sternum anteriorly the thoracic vertebra posteriorly, and you have the ribs then spanning from the thoracic vertebra posteriorly to the sternum anteriorly. But the ribs are not connected directly to the sternum, but are connected through the coastal cartilages. So they also form part of the structural component of the thoracic cage. So let's look at the functions of these coastal cartilages. These coastal cartilages present protective function. So they are also involved in the protection of the thoracic organ. We already said in our previous lecture on the thoracic cage and also on the ribs that the thoracic cage helps to house the thoracic cavity. And of course, within the thoracic cavity, we have a number of organs that are located within it. And in able to protect this structure, the thoracic cavity is being housed by the thoracic cage. And of course, we already established from our previous slide that the coastal cartilages also form part of the structural component of thoracic cage. So they are also involved in this protection. Secondly, the ribs are connected to the sternum through these coastal cartilages. This we have also established during the course of this lecture that the ribs are not directly connected to the sternum, but are connected through the coastal cartilages. So the coastal cartilages are important in this regard because they help to connect the ribs to the sternum. They also help to increase the elasticity of the thoracic cage. We said that during respiratory process, either during inspiration or expiration, there's going to be increase or decrease in the thoracic cavity. And this will only be enhanced through this cartilaginous structure that is called the coastal cartilages, thereby creating an anterior expansion of the thoracic cage to control respiratory processes. Let's look at the structure of these coastal cartilages. These coastal cartilages are specifically made up of a link type of cartilage, which contain high number of collagen fibers, have the joints that the coastal cartilages also form. So we have the costochondral joints. The costochondral joints is seen between the ribs and also the coastal cartilages, and this is where they are marked. You see them within this region between the ribs and also the coastal cartilages. This joint is a primary cartilaginous joint. Also, we have the costosternal joint. The costosternal joint means the joint that is seen between the coastal cartilage and also the sternum, because we already said that the ribs are not connected directly to the sternum, but are connected through these coastal cartilages. So after the ribs are connected to the coastal cartilage, the coastal cartilage will then need to be connected to the sternum. And this is the costosternal joint in this region where the coastal cartilage is connected to the sternum. The costosternal joint can also be referred to as the sternochondral joint, the chondrosternal joint, or the sternocostal joint. If you break all these names down, it will still mean that is a joint that is seen between the coastal cartilage and also the sternum. And this joint is a plain synovial type of joint. So thanks for watching. Let's meet in our next lecture class.